Bug typing or poison typing? Which one is worse? Hey guys, today I want to talk about the two typings that I found to be the worst of them all, bug or poison. In this video, I'm going to go over the typing defenses, strengths, move selections, abilities, and the Pokemon selection. So let's get started. The bug typing. In all honesty, bug types never really impressed me. Most of the Pokemon that are bug type typically have low stats. When I think of bug types, I think of early game Pokemon that I stopped using by the second gym. And I think this is because, well, too many types resist bug. There are seven types that resist bug. Count them. Seven. And all of these types are fairly common to run into. But let's take a look at this. Bug moves are super effective against grass, psychic, and dark types. Alright, that doesn't sound too bad. As long as they don't have a secondary typing that gets you in your way, right? So how about the moves? I think this is the best part about bug types. Bug types actually have decent moves. You got Rage Powder, Quiver Dance, First Impression, Pollen Puff, Sticky Web, Struggle Bug, and U-Turn. Rage Powder to redirect moves to yourself. Quiver Dance is a great stat booster. First Impression for high physical priority damage. Pollen Puff can heal your ally or damage an enemy for 90 base power. A sticky Web being the hazard that lowers speed. Struggle Bug for lowering special attack. And U-Turn just to swap out. However, I do find it funny that Rage Powder doesn't work on grass types, but it does on bug types, even though it's a bug move. Yeah. And the fact that only 19 Pokemon can learn Pollen Puff, but only two of them are bug type? <laughs> I don't know, I think that's kind of funny. Either way, I can give bug types a W on their moves. Now onto the abilities. Some notable bug abilities are Compound Eyes, which raises the Pokemon's accuracy by 30%, and Tinted Lens, which powers up not very effective moves. Unfortunately, these abilities aren't widely distributed. There are 11 Pokemon that can have Compound Eyes for an ability, and truthfully, I would pick Compound Eyes for almost all of them. Compound Eyes is an amazing ability. Being able to increase the accuracy of moves like Sleep Powder can very well spell disaster for your opponent. I exploit this ability in my Butterfree Sweep video. Now, let's talk about Tinted Lens. These are the Pokemon that can have Tinted Lens. And even with the small selection here, I'd rather use Compound Eyes for Butterfree, Prankster for Illumise, and Speed Boost for Yon Mega. The problem with this ability is that the Pokemon that can have it just have better options available. Last but not least, the Pokemon selection. When I look at all the choices of bug Pokemon out there, I'm not impressed. Most of the bug type combinations have four times weaknesses. Bug flying takes four times from rock, bug fighting takes four times from flying, bug grass four times from fire and flying, bug ice four times from rock and fire. You get what I'm saying. Maybe this is just me, but every decent bug type like Heracross or Volcarona they're decent because of their secondary typing. In other words, I only consider these bug types decent because fighting and fire are great offensive typings. So now let's talk about the poison typing. I really didn't think poison types were bad until somewhat recently. I did a poison moves only team on Showdown and I really struggled. Of course, it made things difficult when I ran into steel or poison types, but even when I wasn't, I was still having a really hard time battling with only poison type Pokemon with poison type moves. It made me realize how bad the poison typing is, but let's run through a few things first. Poison types are not very effective against four types and have no effect on one. The typing has two strengths, grass and fairy, and two weaknesses, ground and psychic. My problem with the typing is that steel, ground, and psychic types are common to run into in honestly almost any competitive format. Fairies are common as well, but I feel like you get more of a benefit of running a steel type on your team instead of a poison. I don't want to get into the whole poison versus steel against fairy argument, but in general I prefer steel over poison type. I mean, looking at the resistances steel types have, it's kind of a no-brainer to pick steel over poison. And at the end of the day, they're both weak to ground, so I'll go with steel. Now on to the moves. Looking at this list makes me realize poison moves aren't good. Sludge Bomb and Sludge Wave for high special attack damage. Toxic being the OG status move for poison types. Poison Jab and Cross Poison for physical damage. And Gunk Shot is good damage, but just too low of accuracy for me to use. Honestly, I think their move selection could do a lot better. And along with fighting, Poison Dynamax moves do less damage than other typings due to Poison raising your special attack. Poison types actually have some decent abilities, including Stench, Neutralizing Gas, and Corrosion. Stench has a chance to flinch your target, providing you went before your target. Neutralizing Gas ignores all the abilities on the field, and Corrosion, which allows you to poison Steel type and Poison types as well. All these abilities are pretty useful in my opinion, but unfortunately these abilities aren't given to many Pokemon. Other than that, let's move on to the Pokemon. 
I really like poison type Pokemon. Pokemon like Tentacruel, Gengar, Galarian Weezing, Amoongus are all good Pokemon to use in all honesty. I've seen a lot of gameplay with these four poison types and I have to say they definitely do a decent job. Tentacruel with its good special defense and speed make it a bulky offensive threat. Oh, and don't forget about the eight resistances that it has. Gengar, the fan favorite ghost type. With its high special attack, speed, and great move selection, Gengar can become a deadly sweeper. It can learn moves like Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, the list goes on. Galarian Weezing has three great abilities that work well with it. Levitate removes its ground weakness, Neutralizing Gas ignores the abilities on the field, and Misty Surge that protects it from status conditions and weakens dragon moves. And then we got Amoongus, one of the most useful support mons in double battles. Yeah, okay, Grass Poison isn't the most exciting typing, but I do think Amoongus does its job very well. Honestly, I think it benefits Amoongus being a Grass type just because it could avoid Rage Powder and the Spore shenanigans even though Amoongus is the one doing the Rage Powder and Spore shenanigans. But anyways, I think that wraps up the Poison typing. Comparing Poison to Bug, I would have to say Poison is actually the better typing. To sum things up, I think Bug types have good moves, but their Pokemon abilities aren't the best. Hopefully we can see some improvement in the next gen, because I really like using Bug types, and honestly, they're kind of fun to use. Let me know what you guys think, I'd love to hear your opinions, comment down below. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release videos like this every few days and you don't want to miss them. I have my social media linked in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.